Hello viewers and welcome to this video. In this video, we will prove one very important theorem that is uh, the set of all automorphisms of Zn is isomorphic to Un. So, let me state it as a theorem. The set of all automorphisms of Zn, which denotes the set of all possible remainders upon dividing any integer by n, is isomorphic to Un. Un, you already know. Un is the set of all positive integers less than n and prime to n. And Zn is clearly contained in Un. Oh, I'm really sorry. Un is clearly contained in Zn. Okay. Because Zn is the set of all possible reminders upon dividing any integer by n, and Un contains the set of all positive integers less than n and prime to n. Okay. So clearly Un is contained in Zn because Zn contains 0, 1, 2, and 3, and so on up to n minus 1. Clear? Okay. So this is the theorem which we are interested to prove in this video. Well, let me state the theorem formally. So for every positive integer n, for every positive integer n, set of all automorphisms of Zn is isomorphic to Un. If you recall our last example, there we observed that u10 well there we observe that set of all automorphisms of z10 is isomorphic to u10 okay that we have observed and actually i am i uh, am generalizing that idea to any n okay using this theorem okay so let us prove this So, in order to prove this, first we will observe few things and then we will come into the actual proof. Okay. So, let us try to define psi a. Okay. So, let us start with any element of un. So, let a be any element of un means means the greatest common divisor of a and n is 1 of course a is the positive integer less than n now suppose a be an element in un then we define psi suffix a from zn to zn by well let us say psi suffix a of x is a x mode n because we are working here with z n okay so we are defining a function okay we are defining psi a from z n to z n by psi a of x equals to a x psi a is clearly clearly a function from zn to zn because we are defining psi a of x equals to a x mode n for all x in zn so a is an element in un means it is an element in zn because un is contained in zn and x is any element in zn now a x mode n is the Reminder upon dividing a x by n. So either we get reminder as 0 upon dividing a x by n or reminder as 1 or 2 or and so on at most n minus 1. So whatever is the value of reminder upon dividing a x by n for any x in Zn that is again going to be in Zn. Clear? So psi a x. So that will prove uh, that every element of domain has its image in codomain. So in fact, we have to prove that, prove that every element of domain has its unique image in codomain. So uniqueness part, just prove it. It is very clear. 
okay so do it on your own try to convince yourself that psi a is a function from z n to z n i have proved that every element of domain has its image in codomain but i have to further show that it has unique image in codomain okay in order to show that every element of domain has unique image in codomain what you have to do you have to take any two elements let us say x and y from the domain set assume that x is not equals to y okay and so that under this assumption psi ax is not equals to psi ay so x is not equals to y means ax is also not equals to ay okay or ax is not equals to ax mode n is not equals to ay mode n no no problem so this implies what ax is nothing but psi ax is not equals to psi ay clear because uh, ax so x is not equals to y implies that ax is ax mode n is not equals to ay mode n that is what we can say so x is if ax mode n is equal where if ax mode n is equal to ay mode n it will imply that well A x equals to a y implies that x equals to y. Okay. So that that's why x is not equals to y implies that psi a x is not equals to psi a y. So this function is well defined function. Now let us show that this map is well defined function. Now let us show that psi a is one one. Okay. But before that, uh, let us claim. Let us. What is our claim? Let us look into that. Our claim is that psi a is an isom is an automorphism of Z n for all a in U n. So for all a in U n, psi a, which we have defined like this, is an automorphism of Z n. This is our claim. In psi a. Which is a map from Z n to Z n is in fact one one onto and operation preserving. It is a function that we already observed. Now let us show that psi a is one one. In order to show, in order to show that psi a is an automorphism of Z n for all a in U n, I have to show that psi a is one one. Since I have taken a to be any arbitrary element in U n, so. Psi a is one one. So in order to show that psi a is one one, let us take any two elements from the domain set. So let of psi a. So let x and y belongs to Z n. And suppose that suppose that psi e of x is equal to psi e of y. This is our assumption. So psi a of x equals to psi a of y implies that a x equals to a y. Well, this implies that a x equals to a y. This will further imply that a inverse a x equals to a inverse a y. Right? Since a is an element in U n and U n is a group under multiplication modulo n, so a inverse exists. This implies what? This implies that okay, a inverse a x equals to a inverse a y. You can write like this. Now this implies that since uh, by associativity it is true, so this implies that a inverse a x is the identity. So identity composed with x is the identity x itself. And here you will get y again. So under under the assumption that psi a x equals to psi a y, we prove that x equals to y. So this verifies that psi a is one one. Now let us look at psi a is onto in order to verify our claim. So psi a is onto. What we have to show in order to show that psi a is onto, 
we have to show that for any element x in the codomain set zn i have to show that there exists y in the domain set of psi a since the domain set of psi a is also zn such that psi a of y is equal to x this is what i have to show now if i look at psi a of y equals to x then from here let us try to uh, calculate the value of y and try to observe whether y is in zn or not so now psi a of y equals to x implies what psi a of y is nothing but a y that is from our definition of psi a equals to x implies what okay a y mod n actually so no problem it is understood so this implies that y equals to a inverse x right i can multiply from the uh, left on both sides by inverse so i get y equals to a inverse x now now if i look at psi a a inverse x this is nothing but well by the definition of psi a it is a a inverse x but this is same as a, a inverse by associativity x this is same as x so what we got is that we observed that for any x in zn there exists y which is nothing but a inverse x such that psi a of, a of y equals to x that means we proved that psi a is on to now let us prove that psi a is operation preserving also now we want to show that psi a is operation preserving okay in order to show that psi a is operation preserving let us take any two arbitrary elements from the domain set of psi a so let a and b belongs to zn and we look at psi a of x a plus b oh this will again confuse you with this a so let us take x and y from zn and let us look at psi a of x plus y so psi a of x plus y is nothing but by the definition of psi a it is a of x plus y this is same as a x plus a y this is same as what is a x it is psi a of x plus what is ay it is psi a of y so we proved that psi a is 1 1 it is on to and is operation preserving what does it prove it proved that psi a is an automorphism of zn for all a in un this verifies our claim this verifies our claim so whatever element a you take from un psi a is an automorphism of zn but what we wanted to prove we wanted to prove that automorphism of okay set of all automorphism of un zn is is isomorphic to un that is what we wanted to prove and here we prove that for any a in un psi a is an automorphism of zn now what we will prove next is that whatever automorphism of zn i take whatever automorphism of zn i take that is of the form psi a where a is in un clear and a is equal to psi a also so my claim two is that my claim two is that for any automorphism psi of zn that is okay psi of zn uh psi is equal to psi a where so for any automorphism psi of zn psi is of the form psi a where 
a equals psi of 1. Okay, so what does it mean? That is, I have to show that psi of x equals to psi a of x, which is equal to a x because psi a x is defined like psi a from psi a from z n to z n defined like psi a of x equals to a x. This is for all x in z n. This is what I have to show, right? For uh, this, what I do is I used uh, I use induction, the principle of mathematical induction. So for x equals one, we'll have psi of one. But what is psi one? Psi one is a. So a I can write as a times one. Okay, which is same as psi a of 1 clear so for x equals to 1 we have verified our claim for x equals to 1 we have proved that psi 1 equals to psi a 1 now let us look at induction step here let us assume that so that psi x is equal to psi a x is true for some x in z n. Okay. This is our induction step where we have assumed that psi x equals to psi a x is true for some x in z n. Now we want to show that it is true for x plus 1 also. In order to show that it is true for x plus 1, if I look at psi x plus 1, this is same as since psi we have assumed to be an automorphism of any automorphism of Zn, so therefore it is operation preserving. So I can write this as psi x plus psi 1 because psi is an automorphism from Zn, Zn it's an automorphism of Zn. Okay, so psi x plus psi 1 and psi x we already know that it is it is same as psi a x that is from in our induction hypothesis and psi 1 is same as a. So this is same as psi a x is what? Psi a x is well a x from our definition of psi a plus a. This is same as a x plus 1. So psi x plus 1 is of the form a x plus 1. Okay. Or it is of the form a x. Fine. So what does this imply? This implies that psi is equal to psi a well for any positive integer n or I can say that psi is equal to psi a or uh, this implies that psi x equals to psi a x for all x in n in particular zn okay fine this is what we proved but this is true under the condition that psi of 1 equals to a okay so uh, we proved that now we verified our claim too also where we have assumed that where we have said that for any automorphism psi of zn psi is of the form psi a where a is in uh, in fact un and a is equal to psi 1 a is in un and a is equal to psi 1. Clear? Now we want to show that now we come to our point that is we want to show that psi a okay automorph so set of all automorphisms of zn is isomorphic to un so verification of that actually now we'll verify it so we'll prove that to show that set of all automorphism of zn is isomorphic to un where un is the group of units of n 
in order to show so this, we define a function psi a. Okay, we define a function uh, f from un to the set of all automorphisms of Zn such that f of a for any a in un is equal to psi a. Okay, we are defining like this. It is your task to show that f is well defined function. Now, here I claim that f is an isomorphism. from un to the set of all automorphisms of Zn. Okay. Clearly f is on to because we have proved that well uh, we have proved that any automorphism psi of Zn okay any automorphism psi of Zn is equal to psi of a where a psi of a right so so whatever uh, automorphism psi of zn you take means whatever a uh, element from the codomain set you take you will find the element in the domain set you will find the value of a in the domain set that is in un is that uh, well f of a is equal to the psi of a that is what we have verified in our claim to right okay because for any automorphism psi of zn any automorphism psi of zn is of the form psi a where a is in un this will verify that f is on to no need to verify uh, separately that uh, f is on to so clearly f is on to from claim to clearly f is on to from the verification of claim to from the above verified claim to so the only task left is to so that f is one one and order preserving operation preserving not order operation so in order to show that it is one one, let us assume that let A and B are any two elements of uh, let us say U n and let us assume that f of A equals to f of B. With this assumption I want to show that A equals to B. What is f of A by the definition of f? It is psi A. So f of A equals to f of B implies that psi A equals to psi B. It implies that psi a x equals to psi b x for all x in uh, well uh, for all x in uh, actually z n but let me write for all for all x in z n yeah for all x in uh, z n since a belongs to Zn implies that psi a of okay well uh, since a belongs to Zn and uh, what you can do is that okay since a belongs to un because you have taken u a from un in, in particular a in in so in fact a belongs to zn so since a you can write as a times one which is nothing but you can write a times one as psi a of one by the definition of psi a because psi a of one is nothing but a times one but psi a of one is equal to psi b of one because one is in zn and here we have said that psi a of x is equal to psi b of x for all x in zn in particular psi a of 1 equals to psi b of 1 for 1 belongs to zn right this is same as psi b of 1 is by the definition of psi b it is b times 1 which is same as b so what did we prove we proved that a equals to b so one one part is done next let us prove the operation preserving 
let us show that psi is operation preserving f is operation preserving r e s c r d i n g so i don't know whether my spelling is correct or not so let us do it so for operation preserving let us take any two elements uh, from the domain set but before that let us quickly observe one very small thing observation so with this observation i want to conclude that uh, size of f is operation preserving if i take any element x from zn then and look at psi a psi b of x this is nothing but psi a b of x psi b of x is b of x by the definition of psi b this is same as okay this is same as psi a applied to b of x is nothing but a b of x but this is same as a b of x this is same as psi a b x okay so so this is our small observation where we prove that psi a b psi a composed with psi b is psi a b now i want to use this now what is now if i look at f of a b for any two elements a and b in for for any two elements a and b in un if i look at f of b a b i can write f of a b as psi a b by the definition of f a b okay by the definition of function f we have defined function f to be f of a equals to psi of a in particular f of a b equals to psi of a b but psi of a b you can write as psi of a composed with psi of b from he, this observation okay so this implies that what is psi of a by the definition of f it is f of a psi of b is f of b we prove that f of a b equals to f of a composed with f of b implies that f is operation preserving this completes the proof okay. so we we uh, we defined a map from map f from un to uh, the set of all automorphism of zn such that we proved that it is one one onto as well as operation preserving onto follows from our verification of previous claim and one one we have verified it so therefore automorphism of z instead of all automorphism of z is isomorphic to un now from here from uh, from this after proving this theorem you can freely apply this theorem at any at any point right wherever needed okay so with this i have concluded the lectures or discussion of group isomorphisms so from the next lecture i'll discuss cosets and lagrange's theorem which is in fact a very important topic in the discussion of abstract group theory okay and i request the viewer to kindly solve as much problems as you can from the uh from the group uh, isomorphisms and automorphisms okay so related to iit exam or any competitive exams so with this let let me conclude this module so from the next module i'll start the discussion of uh, cosets and lagrange's theorem